This video covers Chapter 2, InDesign 2-34, End of Chapter Skills Review. We're going to be formatting text, formatting paragraphs, and then I'll probably have a continued video that covers creating and applying styles, um, as well as editing text, creating bullets, and numbered lists. So um, let's get started. It has this opening ID 2-5, which is in your Chapter 2 Skills Review, and um, one would want to be sure that you launch InDesign first and then we're gonna go ahead and do a file open. We'll navigate to that chapter 2 data files open ID 2-5. Go ahead and save it as independence. And then save it in a space that you remember. Okay, step two, click window on the menu bar, point to workspace, then click reset typography. Go ahead and reset that workspace so that we do have um, all the panels available to us on the right hand side that coordinate with, um, with typography. Step three, click the type tool, go over to your tool panel. Then triple click the word declaration at the top of the page. Step four, on the character panel, type 80 in the horizontal scale text box. Okay, if you don't know where that's at, just hover over, that's vertical. This would be horizontal. And to type 80, then press enter or return. Step five, click the font family list arrow. Click impact. Click the font size list arrow. So first we'll go to impact. You can also just type it in. Many of you aren't really familiar with that quite yet. Go ahead and click impact, but you can also just go up here and type it right in. Okay, click the font list arrow, then click 36 point. So we've just enlarged this and changed the font style. Step six, press and hold shift, control on the windows, or shift, shift command on the Mac, and then press the um, less than symbol two times. So shift command, and what that did is it we just changed the font size. Um, you can go up and down doing that if you want, shift command or shift control, up and down using the um, less than or negative, or less than or greater than symbols, the comma and the period on the keypad. Step seven, triple click the word July on the next line. Change the typeface to Garamond. Okay, so it's already Garamond. If necessary, change the type style to italic. So we'll go to the style, do italic. Then click the font size up arrow until you change the font size to 18 point. Okay. Step eight, click object on the menu bar, click text frame options. Change the align setting to center. So if you go into the align setting, we want to make sure that it is centered. Then click OK. Step 9, triple click the word July if necessary. Type 100 in the tracking text box. Okay, so if you don't know which one's tracking, that's this little icon here. I'm going to type 100 and then return or enter on the PC. Step 11, click between the letters R and A in the word declaration. This is something we do to make sure that um, 
we have the proper kerning between characters. Click the kerning list arrow, which would be up here, and click 10. Okay. Step 12. Click view on the menu bar. Click fit to page in window. View fit page in window. Mine already is, so nothing has really happened. If necessary, click the zoom tool and drag a selection box that encompasses all the body copy on the page. And you can do that by doing this. Or command or, or um, control zero fits the page to window. So you're viewing the entire page within your workspace. Step 13, click the type tool, then select the number one at the end of the first paragraph. Now I'm gonna go ahead, there you go, and just make sure I just have the one and no other spaces around it. Step 14, click the character panel options button, then click superscript. So we wanna make sure that we have the character panel open and then you can go ahead and hit the um, superscript, which is under that little options button. Okay, so now we have like a little footnote there. Step 15, select the number one at the beginning of the last paragraph and then apply the superscript command as well. The very last paragraph, number one. Don't see one. Interesting. I'll go ahead and copy and paste that right there. That's interesting. Okay, so the directions told us there was a one down there, but there really isn't, so I just added one. Okay, format paragraphs. Step one, click view on the menu bar, click fit to page and window. View, fit page and window, which we already are. Um, and then you can go ahead and click the first word when in the body copy five times to select all of the body copy. One, two, three, four, five. That has selected all the body copy for me. Step two. Select 12 point in the letting text, text box, so it's already there for us, which is nice. Um, type 13.25. It wants us to be working in the character panel, so that's something that I didn't tell you prior to this. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, well, let's go ahead and do this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's try this again. Okay, so the letting, here it is over here. Um, it says select 12 point in the letting text box and type in 13.25. And then hit return or enter. It opens up the letting for us, allowing a little more room to breathe with that copy. Okay, and step three, display the paragraph panel close that character panel, open up the paragraph panel, then click the justify with last line aligned left button. So you want you might want to just browse over these just to get familiar with them. This one is justify with last line aligned left. So all these lines are going from the left to the right of the text box. But then at the very bottom, this one is allowed to stay to the left. Okay, step four, click the, in the word independence at the top of the document. Click in it, so there we go. Um, then click the align center button on the paragraph panel. So now we have this title align centered. Step five, click the type tool. If necessary, click anywhere in the body copy. Let's go to the type tool, which it is. Anywhere in the body copy. I just selected anywhere. Um, 
Click Edit on the menu bar, then click Select All. Edit, Select All. And you can also do a Control A or a Command A on the Mac. Step six on the Paragraph panel, click the space after Up arrow three times. Paragraph panel, you want to look space after and it wants us to click that up arrow three times. One, two, three. There we go. We're, we're formatting our text just to fill the page, just a little better here. Okay, so that the value reads 0.1875. Click edit on the menu bar, then click deselect. So edit, deselect all. All right. Step seven, select the footnote, last paragraph of the document. So let's see, maybe they were referring to this being the superscript. So if we go back to that character panel and we go up here and we, attract, we apply a superscript to that, um, we can go ahead and delete this since I think that's what they were referring to here as being the end of the document footnote. Okay. All right, so now we look like we're on board a little bit more with what the um, skills review is trying to tell us. Sometimes you kind of have to guess and then you might have to go back. So it is good to question it because then it al allows you to be more aligned with what the directions are. So this very last footnote, it wants us to select. Okay, so let's go ahead and just highlight it. Double click the space before text box on the paragraph panel. So let's go back to that paragraph panel. Double click that space before, that space after. And let's look around for that space before. Double click it. Type 0.5, then press enter. So now that has brought that entire footnote to the bottom of the text box. Apply the deselect all command. Deselect all. Step nine, click type on the menu bar, then click show hidden characters. Type Show hidden characters. Select all the body copy on the page except for the last paragraph. Let's go ahead and select the body copy only. Double click the first left line left indent text box. First line left indent. And then it allows us to target in that form here. Type in 0.25. Then press enter. Here we go. Select July 4th, 1776. Beneath the headline, then click the Align Right button on the Paragraph panel. Align Right. Double click the Right Indent text box on the Paragraph panel. Double click the right indent text box on the paragraph panel. And then we're gonna type in 0.6. And then return. There we go. So now we're applying different um, styles to this entire page. Click anywhere in the first paragraph, then change the first line left indent value to zero. Space before, first line left indent, zero. Okay. Click the drop cap number of lines, arrow, three times. Okay, this is the drop cap.
Okay, so you can just click within that paragraph 